G'day and welcome to another Pokemon Go video. So jumping into Go Battle League, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Otherwise, we're going to uh, jump straight in. I'm currently ace ranked at 2200 uh, with a 2200 Elo, so sort of middle of the range. Um, so hopefully this will be useful for some of you. So unfortunately, we're in the Master League. It's the um, hardest uh league to be sort of competitive in just because it takes so many resources to power them up um master league open is just absolutely brutal with uh, requiring excel candy so i'm going to go into the master league premier classic and the team i'm going to be running is similar to that um of uh, my team for uh, the battle day, but I'm going to swap out uh, only one Pokemon. So I'm going to be running Excadrill on the lead with uh, Mudshot, uh, Drill Run, and Rock Slide. I'm going to be running uh, Gyarados with Dragon Breath, Aquatail, and Crunch, and that's instead of Togekiss. And then finally, I'm going to be running Swampert with Mudshot, Hydro Cannon, and earthquake so we'll see how we go hopefully we can get some decent matchups so one of the things that this team does struggle with is a waterfall gyarados on the lead so you do not want to hit that um other things so although it's steel it doesn't do that well against dragonite now that dragonite's got uh, superpower and it's just a really awkward match. So there's a few others that it doesn't like either. Um, one of those being Swampert would be an absolutely awful matchup, but um, we'll see how we go. Hopefully we can uh, hit some decent leads and uh, take some uh, some wins here. So Excadrill, yeah, yeah, there you go. So is it Waterfall or is it, yeah, so because it's, um, Because it's a uh, Dragon Breath Gyarados, it's actually a little bit okay. I should be able to get to three Rock Slides here. Um, oh, so they're going to let the first one go. That's fine. Um, I'm actually going to shield up this first one. And the reason for that is, well, I want to see what they want to do. So I'll shield up the first one. I'll go one more because I don't want them to get to another Aqua Tail before I can get to a Rock Slide. So I want them to force them to uh, shield here or lose switch really, really quickly. Um, so they're going to let that go. And I'm, well, they're going to uh, shield that up and I'm gonna let this one go. So we've each used the shield and I should be able, it's gonna take me really, really close, but I should be able to get there before they are able to charge me down. Yeah, so normally I can get there with, uh, as you can see, one HP. And we'll see what they want to do. So will they let this go? No, they're going for switch advantage. Um, so that's okay for me. Um, I'm going to come in with my own Gyarados here and farm down. Uh, they can throw a move. And they decide to come in with their mm, Togekiss. So I should be counting these. It takes eight to get to a Ancient Power. Eight to get to a Aerial Ace and 10 to get to a flamethrower. So one, so unfortunately they were able to get there first. So I'm gonna let this go because I think it is just gonna be an ancient power and it's not gonna do much damage. Um, I didn't actually get to see if uh, I boosted there, which is unfortunate, but uh, we'll see what they wanna do. So they're not gonna shield and then they're gonna look to farm down, which they should be able to do. Yes, a little bit of lag there, which is unfortunate for us. Um, um, and so here, Charm just does a whole lot of damage. So I'm going to throw my Aquatail straight away. Um, oh, not quite enough, but that's fine. Was able to then farm down and we'll see what they've got. So we've got a, oh, and I'm gonna let this go. Um, big question mark as to what's in the back. I'm hoping this is an Aquatail and not a Crunch. Unfortunately, it is the Crunch. And they got the defense debuff. Ah, okay, well, this is a well and truly good game. Uh, really unfortunate there, but I mean, it is what it is. Um, there's nothing, yeah, I can really do. Had I shielded that up, they would have been able to get to a move anyway and because they got the debuff that was just game over regardless of what i did so really unfortunate there 
So as you can see, I could get the crunch off, just doesn't do enough damage on the um, Metagross. So in that instance, um, it's a difficult one. Um, you just don't know, I guess, what is in the back. So we've got another, well, we've got a Dragonite lead now. Again, one that I don't actually like. Um, so what I've uh, found is people usually will throw a Dragon Claw first and then throw the um, superpower, which they're doing this time as well. Um, so we got the CMP tie, which is okay. Um, but uh, let's see what they want to do for next time. So I'm going to be able to, and then they're going to jump into their own. So I'm actually going to swap into my uh, swamp it here. So double steel is a really popular matchup um, in the back. Uh, so we'll see what they want to do. Two, three, four, and then uh, I want to uh, throw my energy before there. So it takes, I think it's five to get to uh, the move there, and five of uh, from me as uh, well. So let's uh, just throw this hydro cannon here. And hopefully, uh, well, we'll see. We may be able to grab a shield here. We are not I'm able to grab a shield. And they may try and charge me down. Oh, and I got there. I just um, couldn't quite get there. So we'll see what they want to do. Um, here, I'm going to let this go. And we'll see what, uh, what happens next. So I think they may, because Dragon Double Steel is a very popular team. Um, and it is Dragon Double Steel, so that works out uh, absolutely fine for me. I'm going to look to throw the drill runs here. Um, I'm just going to I'll double shield this up myself. So unfortunate. So they're just looking to, are they looking to completely farm this down? Um, so I imagine that they're going to, yeah, give it a go. Um, but that's fine. Two, three, let's see how well they're counting. They're not counting that well uh, because they just left the game. Uh, maybe they were counting and they, mm, I got to five. So they said, well, that's game over at this point. Um, so happy days. That one was going to be fairly straightforward in the end game. Um, they just had no health left on the Dragonite and yeah, using up both of those shields and doing all that chip damage with the mud shots from the Excadrill. Yeah, absolutely perfect for me there. So Dragon Double Steel is a, yeah, big team. So we'll have to uh, see. So Excadrill, the Excadrill, I don't like this matchup. So we'll see one, two, three, four, five. Let's just uh, throw straight into it. So. We know that they've got one extra, but that's fine. And because uh, I will uh, will get that back. And I'm going to have to shield and do the same. The question is, who wins CMP? This is the... So we both threw at the same time. Uh, so it looks like I win CMP. So that works out absolutely perfectly. But the problem is, I now need to... Uh, be aware of the switch. So are they going to try and sack this? It's going to be really interesting. Um, I think I'm going to have to try and swap mine. One, two, three, four, five. And uh, yeah, so we both did the same thing, but that's fine. Um, I'm going to go straight for the crunch here and uh, hope I can get that debuff. So we're both expecting uh, expecting the sack swap there, which is, yeah, um, interesting, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what move they have. I'm expecting they have uh, the exact same move set as me. It'll be interesting to see what their last Pokemon is. And they don't, they have the Outrage. That's um, uh, interesting. But what I'm gonna do here is I'll come in with my one, two, three, four, five, and I'm actually going to throw the, and we'll see if they come in with the, I think I just have to go for it, right? 
and they won. I thought I won. Uh, we both must have the same IVs. That's brutal because I had uh, had the drill run, but that's fine. Um, I'll see what they now have won. So this is uh, going to be okay for me. Uh, I'm going to be able to look to throw this earthquake here before they can get off a big move. That's going to take them out. Um, and there's no way they can get to two drill runs before I'm able to get to a, um, a hydro cannon. Uh, so that's absolutely fine. So this is why I've got my Swampert, because it just does so well against the steel types. Um, lots of people are running um, Metagross. I was seeing, uh, previously I was seeing uh, a lot of Gar Chomp. Um, I'm not seeing that so much anymore. Uh, I am seeing a lot of Gyarados now. It seems to be Gyarados a lot. So Gyarados and Dragonite leads are very, very common where I currently am. Um, and we'll see if that continues. So we'll just jump straight into the next one and see if we can get a uh, another win on the board. Um, difficult one sometimes with the uh, Gyarados lead. It's a bit, uh, yeah, questionable because obviously... They've got, uh, if they're running the uh, Waterfall, like I said, it's brutal. If they're running Dragon Breath, I sort of have some play. Magnazone, absolutely perfect. I need to swap in my Gyarados no matter what. So we'll see what they swap into. Um, so I'm just going to swap straight into my uh, Gyarados here. And the reason for that is I don't actually need Switch here. Uh, because both of my uh, backline are going to do absolutely fine against this, and I don't want my uh, Gyarados matched up against the uh, Magnazone, because it's just going to absolutely punish it. So we'll, uh, especially when I'm running Dragon Breath, uh, if it was running the... Oof. If it was running the uh, waterfall version, then I would be a little bit better off. So I expect them to now throw a flamethrower here, and I'm actually going to shield this up. Um, so oh, it's just the ancient power, but that's fine. Um, I'm going to look to farm this all the way down. I'm not going to throw a move here, and we'll see what they want to do. So if they come in with a dragonite now, which would be fairly common um but we'll see because i can't imagine they will come in with their oh so this is uh this is really really not ideal for me i need to get at least one of these rock slides through and uh, i'm able to do it so we'll, uh, we'll swap out now we've got a move stored and they uh, made a mistake there that's uh, not what they want to do uh, because, uh, obviously, well, I mean, I'm just going to let everything go, um, and we'll see. So they're going to do the same, and then uh, let's look to farm this all the way down. I suspect that they will uh, be throwing wild charges now, because I got a mud shot off, and I don't know if that's going to be enough to KO, because they'll have back-to-back -back, uh, wild charges here, um, but they just... Uh, I only got the one off, happy days. Uh, able to get to a hydro cannon here. They shield that up, that's fine. Um, oh, that's not so good. I'm gonna have to shield this up myself, which is unfortunate. Um, and it is the crunch, okay. And they got the defense debuff, are you kidding me? Ah, that's brutal. Uh, will they shield this up? I don't think they will, you know. Um, Uh, let's see, can we, uh, we're going to obviously grab the last shield now, but can we get to another charge move? It's going to be close, going to be real close. Oh, it's not close enough. And I was able to farm it down. Wow, that was a very, very close game. So um, I had to swap out there because the defense debuff obviously would have meant that I, uh, yeah, was not able to last as long with my swamp put and had i lasted one less uh waterfall then that's uh, gg so very very close game there i really didn't think i was going to win that one um, but able to uh, thankfully 
get the win on the board. Um, and they did the right thing there by saving the shield for the so Garchomp. So for this one, uh, I'm actually going to come in with my Swampert and we'll see what they swap into. So I'm hoping they don't swap into a Gyarados. Gyarados is the, the normal one to swap into, um, but it's a Dragonite. Okay, so they're going to resist all of these moves, which is fine. Um, which does mean they don't have a, a very good answer for my Swampert, which probably means they've got a Metagross in the back, I'd imagine. Um, running Double Dragon, they're going to have a Steel-type in the back, so yeah. Um, what I need to do is actually save my... Yeah, and hope it's a... Hope it's a... So what I might do is, yeah, I'll come in with the uh, Gyarados here. So I need to hope that it's a Metagross and not an Excadrill. If it's an Excadrill, then I'll probably be in a little bit of trouble. Um, so Dragonite coming through. Let's see what they want to do. I'm able to farm it down. Just got the one move off, which is good. And, ooh, that's interesting. That's really interesting. So I'm going to shield this up. I uh, expect it to be the Outrage. They did get a lot of energy, and it's just a Sand Tomb. That is brutal. So they're probably running Sand Tomb and Outrage here. So the risk is I come in with my... Um, and I'm no shielding this, because they're not going to be running Sand Tomb, and surely they're not running Sand Tomb and... Um, See, so they're not uh, they're not getting out of there. So what is in the back? So is there steel type of? Ooh. So I'm just gonna have to let this go, I think, and hope that they don't have uh, something that will be able to. Yeah. So it is the uh, Excadrill. Um, which is really unfortunate for me. And I'm just trying to think of what the best play is here. So they're obviously going to... And it's a drill run? They didn't do a rock slide? Okay. Um, fine. So, question here is, do I get to another one? So I'm able to get to the next one, but... I think, I just think that the Garchomp just has too much health left on it um, to be able to um, farm it down. Yeah, way too much health. It's going to be able to take me out. I just needed to, needed to come out of there with energy as well, but that was never going to be an option. Um, unfortunately, not able to uh, take the win and uh, go three and two in that set, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it happens, obviously. It just happened then. Uh, it's still a positive set, and that's sort of the thing that I want. Uh, so look to try and uh, hit this excellent throw. Obviously, uh, that's what happens when you don't wait for the attack. Let's uh, let it get small and miss the throw anyway. Um, but that's, uh, that's what it is. So like I said, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. If you've got any suggestions for teams that I could try, um, I'm happy to give it a go. Obviously, it's uh, a bit of a brutal league in terms of uh, powering stuff up, so no one really wants to use uh, all the Stardust in the world. So let's go 22-31. Um, what do we power up to? So I imagine it's only sort of 12 seems to be about right. Um, I don't know, so 15. So it went up 15, which is okay. Um, what you expect for a 3-2 set when you're sitting at uh, my current ELO. Um, so 22.46. So happy day. So um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, hopefully I will uh, see you in the next one. Bye for now.